I can remember being very upset that day. It was towards the end of the day. It was grey, I remember that. And I just drove myself to a, a very secluded spot along the Devon coastline and wandered out of my car and stood on top of a cliff. And I was basically contemplating suicide, throwing myself off. My name's Jason Fox. I did 20 years in the military, 10 in the Royal Marines, a further 10 in the Special Boat Service, and I was medically discharged in 2012 with PTSD. I loved being a soldier. I, I, I loved what it stood for. I loved what it entailed. You know, you receive gunfire coming at you. You can see the people that are shooting at you. And you just sort of swing into action. And I enjoyed it. I embraced it. Our reintegration into normal life, as we call it, was actually quicker than some. Because I think the quickest I ever did was being out on an operation, getting hit by an IED. No one got badly injured. There was a few sprained ankles. It was very fortunate. And within 15 hours, I am back home walking down the high street. I think it, that being in normality can sometimes take you by surprise. And I think what actually has an impact on you is, is um, boredom. I always chased the excitement and adrenaline of being a soldier. I think that made me difficult to live with. And ultimately as well, I was never trained to be a husband or a father. I was trained to be a soldier. If I'm honest, it wasn't actually about me not wanting to be there. I was just in a very scary situation. And I was just in a ditch in the middle of an absolutely horrific gunfight. And um, it manifests itself in a way where I could re remember visualising wanting to be at home with my mum. And it was a, just a bit of a, it was a bit of a wake up call. It's like, wow. When people ask me, when did, when did you first experience mental health issues? That is a good starting point because it was the first time that I can remember manifesting fear in the way that it did. At the time, talking about mental health was in its infancy. Because there was no chat around it, I created my own stigma and the stigma was in my mind. And so for me, I did find it difficult to openly talk about it and talk about it with my peers. You know, I used to hear about soldiers suffering from PTSD and ultimately I had been away on numerous occasions, engaged in combat, seen horrific stuff and felt fine. You know, I thought that I was a functioning person and I was going to do everything and everything was going fine. But then obviously the wheels fall off and um, you've got to eat a huge slice of humble pie. I'd basically lost my identity and my sense of belonging and I was on a, on a journey of trying to fit into normal everyday society and I didn't know what that was. A lot of things around me were also falling apart, relationships, and I genuinely didn't understand or think that I was worth anything anymore because I'd done what I needed to do, I'd done what I loved and I'd finished at that because it, I was broken. And it was at that point that I actually decided that I needed to either do what I was intending to do or I walk away from that cliff and I make some changes or I make a lot of changes. And the first change being being honest with myself about what was going on in my mind and also what I needed to do about it. I'd love to see Rock to Recovery delivering the services that it delivers now to a wider audience. It's an organisation, what it does, it can rapidly deploy the intervention techniques that some people, veterans and their dependents need when they are in a very difficult predicament mentally. Firstly, you know, start with the Veterans Foundation. Without organisations that help raise money to then deploy and inject into organisations like ourselves, then we'd be impotent, for want of a better word. I'd like to say to people that do take part in the Veterans Lottery that they're actually saving lives, you know. They're allowing us as an organisation to intervene, make a change in someone's mindset and save lives. And in so doing, they're probably saving the family's life as well. If you'd like to help veterans and the organisations that support them, such as Rock to Recovery, then please play the Veterans Lottery.